Hi Libra, welcome to Angela 333. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, a couple things here before we start your reading. This is what do you need to know right now? Uh, I am traveling so you can see, oh my setup is uh, a little different here. So with that, uh, a couple things. There will be an extended reading link below in the description box if this reading resonates with you. Um, we will, uh, for people that this is somebody here on your mind, we will look at what your person is thinking, feeling, their upcoming actions, some love uh, messages and guidance. Uh, secondly, you can now follow me on TikTok and Instagram. All of that information is below. And then with that, let's get started, Libra. Just also want to say thank you for all of your likes, your shares, subscribing to my channel. I do appreciate you. And so let's get a couple cards here from the Gaia Oracle deck. Let's get another card here. Okay. Really nice messages here with the bottom of the deck. You have uh, number two, which is Moonlight Goddess. This is repressed emotions, healing, and reflection. With the two cards surrounding this, I feel there's an opportunity for you and somebody possibly here to reconcile. Now, that's not going to be for everybody, okay? But I do see love energy here. You have the sacred uh, Earth Mother, which is a message of love. So there's some sort of message, loving message that is coming your way. And you also have here eternal love happiness harmony and fulfillment all right so i feel like there is um, an energy here of someone coming towards you definitely in love receiving some sort of loving message now i'm going to say for some of you this can be reconciliation i feel here with this moonlight goddess but for others it could be new love so let's pull your tarot and let's see what the energy is here what can you tell libra what is libra needing to know Okay, so we have the Emperor, strong Aries energy. Ooh, we have the Devil, strong Capricorn energy. Two of Wands. Nine of Swords. Five of Wands. And we have the Page of Wands, okay. Gosh, um, I'm seeing this in two different ways, uh, Libra. You do have the Four of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You do have the Ten of Swords here. So some of you may have recently gone through a breakup or an end of a relationship or there may have been something very awful or hurtful here that happened. It's also um, an energy here of a renewal, a new beginning here, okay? But it feels like you've taken some time to yourself to really think about things and gain some clarity. We have your energy here, Libra. We also have Aquarius and we have Gemini. So you have the Emperor, strong Aries. Uh, you also have the Nine of Swords. So I get with this energy here, this is somebody here who's definitely doing a lot of thinking about you, okay? They're not sharing uh, this at this time. It's showing me between, uh, you know, the recent past up until now. This is someone who has you on their mind, somebody who can't get you off of their mind. This also is somebody here that is, for whatever reason, is definitely... Uh, there's some sort of worry here, okay? Maybe anxiety here. Maybe they can't sleep at night, okay? Uh, a situation too, I'm kind of getting like it's a situation maybe this person is not feeling like they have complete control um, because the emperor is somebody, you know, who usually feels that they have complete control, but with the surrounding cards, the devil, nine of swords, five of wands here, I don't feel that. So um, this could be their own internal struggle or this could be, you know, your situation here. They're feeling that they can't control it. So we're going to clarify. We're going to see what that's about. You have the devil card and you have the five of wands. So this may be somebody who likes, like I said, likes to be in control. They may be somebody who could be quite obsessive about things or they want things a certain way. Um, there's some sort of struggle here. Okay. But I'm also seeing the energy here, Libra, is that there possibly could be more than one person here. There could be a new person coming in the mix, right? Or it's just communication coming from this person. This person maybe you see is your eternal love. 
but you have the two of wands and you have the page of wands so we have aries leo and we have sagittarius somebody's making a decision here to come towards you they're definitely thinking about the future i see communication upcoming here uh, after a period of a break so for some of you if you don't have anybody in your life Right, maybe uh, this is you struggling with you know these types of energies. You know, people here, um, you know, maybe drama or you know, you know, situations that weren't healthy here. Maybe addictions. But for others, I feel this is somebody here in your world already, and this person here is still attached, right? But they're not feeling in complete control, or maybe what they're going to say or communicate to you. So we'll see let's clarify uh these cards so let's clarify first this nine of swords why is the nine of swords here now this could be your energy as well libra know that roles and energies can be reversed why is the nine of swords here please four of cups tower And we have the page of pentacles okay yeah look at that five of cups we have four of cups we have five of cups here nine of swords somebody definitely is feeling disappointed it does feel like there was some sort of ending right or um, broken trust here right something that i feel didn't work right something came to a head now there could have been drama there could have been interference here i'm going to say I do feel like a third party situation for some of you, maybe not all of you, okay, but there definitely was um, a foundation here between you and this person, but something didn't work out, right? Something may have, may have happened that caused a lot of chaos, I believe, yeah, we saw that Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck, right? Could be something that was very hurtful that happened between you and this person. We have the Four of Cups. This may be what this person, right, is thinking about, obsessing about, right, uh, with the Four of Cups. This could be somebody who has other options. You got Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, but this also can be somebody here that knows that something very disappointing uh, could have happened at their hand. Maybe it was you, but uh, there's definitely a situation of not feeling good. Why not feeling content about a situation? And then you have the page of pentacles, all right? So I feel that this person, they want to reach out to you. They want to send some sort of message here, right? You have the five of cups here again, you know, a sad, disappointing energy. So something happened, I feel, between you and someone here. Now, this can just be about, uh, you know, just in general relationships not working out here but for a lot of you i feel this is a particular person here all right somebody here i feel um i don't know why i'm hearing like this person's feeling really small at this time right um but i feel like they're trying to uh think about some sort of message here that they want to compose to you right Let's see why the, um, we have the devil and we have the five of wands. We're going to clarify why is that five of wands here, please. We have the hermit, strong Virgo. We have the justice, strong Libra. Quite a few major arcana cards here in this spread. Judgment, another major arcana. And the knight of swords, okay. Interesting. Either your person or somebody here, I feel I'm really strongly picking up third party. I don't really like to, you know, do a lot, you know, say a lot when it comes to third party, but I am picking up some sort of interference or drama. Third party doesn't always mean that it's another lover. It can be a friend, a family member, somebody here who is interfering here in this connection. You do have the Knight of Swords. Okay, so I do see that this person is coming towards you with communication. I see somebody else here. So it can be an indication because you also have here the Seven of Cups. You may be getting communication from more than one person here. Now, there may be one here that is a temptation for you, right? It could be a repeat, right, of a past situation that maybe wasn't so healthy. So just remember that. I'm getting that energy as well. But you have... Um, the hermit you have the justice card and you have the judgment card there's your energy libra 
so yeah this is what i get here i feel um you could have somebody here from your past right um coming towards you there may be something here that is not good about the situation like i said be careful repeating past patterns can also be um somebody who's a temptation for you maybe something here you know hasn't been good right but it just could be somebody here not wanting to let go right not wanting to let go of the situation maybe this person here wanting to control the situation as i said earlier so i feel this hermit this this um, justice this judgment is about you making a decision here about the situation now you have here that the uh two of wands and the page of wands and i feel the energy right there's a crossroads here okay but i feel this is somebody here who is got their eye on you they they got the intention to come towards you right with communication we'll see uh let's clarify this page of wands who is this page of wands is this somebody new or is this the same person here i am seeing um who was not wanting to oh let go okay look at that we have the two of wands again we have the three of cups we have the four of pentacles and bottom of the deck here we have the eight of cups okay i feel this is somebody here uh in the situation now unless you're involved in a third party situation here libra um this could be somebody here right that either you walked away from or they walked away here okay but I'm also picking up the energy there. I'm going to say here, there could be somebody new here because you have the two of wands, you have the three of cups and you have the four of pentacles. Okay. There's somebody here. I feel who hasn't let go of this connection, right? That's definitely what I'm seeing here. The M for the devil, the two of wands. I'm going to say for a lot of you, this is somebody here that you know. It's not somebody new. If it resonates with somebody here new, um, then take it because there is the possibility here that there's one that is still holding on to this connection and there is one uh, new person here because I do see a judgment call. Okay. You have the eight of cups. See, look at that. You have the eight of cups and you have the four of swords, which tells me somebody walked away here in the connection, right? now you have the it may have been new libra here right not feeling satisfied with how things were you have the page of pentacles the judgment and the four of pentacles it tells me yeah this person's coming back right somebody here from the past could be a capricorn okay and you're going to have to make a judgment call so what i'm going to do libra i'm going to pull some of these kipper cards we're going to see what other details we can get from the kipper cards about your situation after that, I will take it to the extent and ask what your person's thinking or feeling about you, their upcoming actions, love notes, and guidance. So let's see here. Um, what else can you tell Libra? What else does Libra need to know? Ooh, okay. Gosh, that's been coming out a lot in these readings. Okay, yeah. So this may be a situation where this person was making you feel stuck. You have the imprisonment card, all right? Um, so I feel like this could be somebody who was making you feel stuck. I'm gonna say for some of you, I do feel like this could be somebody who was hiding a past relationship a, a past or a past marriage. I'm going to say this is somebody who was being false. Now it could be around you know, commitment or marriage um, with this person that could have been the issue here but some of you I do feel like I said I felt like there could be third party situation so you could be dealing with somebody who was hiding a, a marriage or a relationship now on a side note here Libra you have unexpected income and toil and labor here now some of you this could actually be around money you could receive uh you know some unexpected income this could be around uh your work or something that you work towards for others though i feel this as um an energy of this was someone who was not investing you know or putting the work into this connection or relationship okay in the past 
um, and that's why you were feeling stuck here. But I'm gonna say here you have occupation. So some of you on a side note, that's a good thing here, you may be getting some, some unexpected income. This could be a refund on your taxes, I'm going to say, because it's related to work here. I'm just gonna pull a couple more cards, see what else comes out for you. Mature woman, let's see what that is about. And we have despair. Yeah, there may have been another person around your person, and it's not about male or female. It's about the energy, right? Here's that disappointment again. Now, it could be you, just, you know, this could be you uh, as somebody being mature, right? Um, and very disappointed maybe in this person's actions. Okay, so let's uh, go to the extended now, Libra. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you Angela.